This portion of 17 News is brought to you by Hillcrest Air Conditioning and Sheet Metal, serving you since 1950. All right, so on this Weather Wednesday, it's a time when Kevin and I always get to talk about the weather together, help you understand a little bit more in depth on how it can impact us. Today, we're not talking about tropical. We'll do that a little bit more next week after the storm comes on through. Today, I wanted to talk about air quality and going back to school. Yeah, and uh, those storms next week are going to help us in terms of our air quality, but I just gave the air quality forecast when that orange area unhealthy for sensitive groups. And so that plays a big part when kids are going out to recess and things like that, even sports programs. Exactly. Exactly. I was talking to my daughter's teacher yesterday. She said, I hope it's an inclement weather day, not because of a chance <laughs> of rain or the humidity, but because of the heat. And we were also chatting with the Valley Air District earlier this week about how when the kids go back to school, the air quality gets worse. And that's because it tends to be very hot and we're adding all that new traffic on. Yeah, and we get very stagnant air whenever we see these uh, strong ridges in the summertime. I have a graph that kind of illustrates this. This is the valley. And when we have these strong ridges of high pressure, think of it like this. Think you have a pot of water on the stove, right? You boil water water steam takes place right if you don't have a lid on the pot the steam goes out and mm -hmm. you know doesn't collect put the lid on top of that pot and what happens it all collects at the top of that lid think of that scenario in terms of the valley uh, we've got the pot which is our mountains and we're in the middle of the pot and uh, the ridge of high pressure is that lid and it just has nowhere to go so unless we get a change of wind pattern or we get these uh, systems that bring rain or low pressure system kind of mix up the air mass we get stagnant and that's why we deal with the air quality we're seeing right now. Exactly. So we wanted to invite the Valley Air District to stop by and Danny Gonzalez is joining us in studio. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Because we always hear, hey, there's a problem. The air quality gets worse. What do we do about it as parents? Yeah, so as we just mentioned right now, there's a lot more traffic right now with uh, back to school. So some things that the district urges families and parents to do is if you can, carpool. Um, Courtney, carpool, carpool sharing. Um, if you can, maybe walk to school if the temperature is adequate enough um, so you can stand the heat. Uh, and then also when you're picking up and dropping off your kid, turn off that car while you're, um, while you're waiting to pick them up. Don't idly in front of the school because we end up breathing that air. Exactly. And it's hard on the little lungs when they're walking out to be breathing in all that air pollution. So I know when I am waiting for one child and I've got the other kids, if it's a nice time of year, we take a blanket and lay in the grass. If it's hot, we've got to keep the air on. So if you see someone idling with their car, maybe they have small children in. If they're alone in the car, maybe tap on the window and be like, hey, friend, come chat with me, right? Yeah. Kind of entice people to get out in yeah, a friendly no, way. Most definitely. And the Valley Air District has partnerships with various school sites throughout the Valley that actually have signage that remind parents and guardians says, hey, just turn out that car while you're waiting to pick up your kid or your student. Over the years, we have seen improvements with our air quality, mm -hmm. I think because of a mix of things. One, we have more electric cars uh, on the roadways these days. So uh, everybody's kind of trying to do their part in making for a better air quality environment for us here in Kern County. Yeah, that is right. And the Air District actually offers various different programs and incentives that helps residents throughout the valley purchase electric or hybrid vehicles. Um, make it easier for them. Yeah, and I will be a testament to that because I'm an electric car and I was one of those that uh, benefited from the that Valley Air and their uh, benefits of going electric. Well, so. definitely. Yeah, and also consider parents, if your child is on a bus route, that is one vehicle getting all the kids and many of those buses are working on upgrades to be cleaner vehicles as well. So I love all these tips from the Valley Air District. Coordinate that carpool you mentioned. Drive less, try and consolidate your tips. I love this excuse. I'm saving the air quality. I can't run <laughs> On those errands. Oh man. <laughs> uh, walk your kids to school like you mentioned and please don't idle if you can while waiting in the pickup lines. Yeah. yeah. Great tips. Thank awesome. you so much, Thank Jenny, you so much for, for having me. Thank you for having me. We always love sharing good information. And we're gonna be right back with more good info in your wellness Wednesday.